prana for me is energy and dynamics is in motion. So prana dynamics is not a system or a style. It's just how to use energy um, and move energy. My name is Howard Wong. I'm from Taipei, Taiwan, and I teach uh, prana dynamics. People have the luxury to really learn to revert their mental focus back inside of the body to help people to ascend themselves spiritually. It's to be in harmony with the life. To be moved by the heart and to go deeper in everything I do. The life is simple. If you can let the life flow. I thought it would be about modulating energy per se and maybe to use it in a in martial art but it turns out that's not the core of it. It's uh, to get a deeper understanding what humans are and it's a completely different view on, on existence because it's free of dogma and it gives just an explanation how you could understand or even find a way to your spiritual being. Well, I'm just um, nobody from Taiwan, so by teaching, you know, I'm, uh, I'm just a professional tour guide, you know, guiding people, you know, to, uh, to travel from the darkness and the dumbness of the mind, you know, to the light inside. It's your mind, it's your body, and you are the only one able to make any difference inside. So, once you can successfully transcend yourself, you know, walking yourself out of the dominance of the mind, then the energy dimension is already there, you know, ready at your exploration. So, this is the first step of self-liberation and self-transformation. A very, very clear structure of step-by-step -step guiding into the internal arts and into a state of being in oneness with the energy body in order to come closer to one's true self. After I revert my mental focus back into myself and settle in, to my surprise, I can see the answers to the questions I have about this art from inside of myself. And then this is when and where I can start to put up the puzzle work no, and uh, slowly and slowly I can begin to see the picture, you know, uh, intuitively from inside of myself. It's some body and mental technique he teaches to see a deeper insight beyond your body and your energy even. You have to accept to throw away a uh, proper part of what you think about life. He can, he can show you yourself in a way that you couldn't imagine. It makes your own view so clear. He shows you every time that it's only your mind who makes everything hard for you. He puts everything aside that's maybe the content of your mind. And it's like he's holding your hand and and, and help you to, to see the only thing you have to, to recognize. If you think um, you're stuck with your way of living or your way of thinking about life, this could be a way to pass this blockage and find completely different approaches. So this is how the mind functions. Perception, cognition, uh, emotion, fermentations, and consciousness. So they are energetic uh, ripples, you know, in vibration inside of your body. Collectively, it's called the mind. Make sense? And the mind by itself is a trinity, okay? Neutrality, activity, passivity, okay? I feel, I sense, I am. That is why everything outside of you in manifestation. The world is manifested in a form of motion. The construct of the mind is this. The, the mind can see and sense anything and everything 
within the invisible limit of the animated body sensations, but itself. The mind can understand something, the mind cannot understand nothing. So when you close your eyes, you know, you try to look inside of yourself, it's a total darkness, you know, nothing there for you to see. Once you realize that you cannot really make use of the mind to transcend the mind, then the picture will become clearer. You know, you have to, you have to revert your mental focus, relax, surrender, repent, settle in, and then this inner dimension will begin to, you know, open up to you, for you to explore in the form of the empirical art of uh, reverse self-engineering. People who are in the and state, I think, Howard, is that there's no reason for war for them. You would not want to have more and more material stuff like another car and a big house with, with uh, hundreds of, of things around. Uh, we could concentrate on the, the important things and be much, much more relaxed, have a much, much better life quality. There's a kind of a freedom in me. If I let go and if, if I open up and then there's kind of nothing and flowing and it's a very nice feeling. I'm from the traditional uh, background. My martial skills were so very good, but very, very fighty and very brutal to the extent that every time I go to my father's school, oh, all his students, when they saw how we're coming, they will automatically back off from me. Why? Nobody wants to play with me. Why? It was unpleasant, too brutal, too fighting. I took a vow to myself, from that moment onwards, I would never fight people no more. Instead of giving it up, I study harder, I study further and deeper, just to find myself one more reason for me to keep on with it. Later, after I evolved into this internal energy dimension, I graduated myself from the traditions. One thing that really resonated with me was, uh, I saw Howard throwing people around, but they were smiling as they were getting thrown around. <laughs> I've been thrown around a lot, uh, pretty much uh, half a million times, and I never really smiled when I got thrown. It was devastating. With the students I teach or the Prime Dynamics members that I help coach, um, I make them smile as, I, as, as we throw each other around, so it's, it's a great exchange. Prana Dynamics is my summary of the essence of the ancient Chinese uh, Kung Fu uh, art. It took my whole lifetime to, you know, emerge into this art. I appreciate that he openly shared this with us. That's maybe not so common to this uh, master to, to share kind of these internal uh, things. At the beginning, he can come for martial art, but uh, quickly he will uh, discover other things. Brenner um, turns my views of martial arts around and um, I'm no more interested in the, in the martial and in the aggression uh, or the muscles or the tension. I'm only interested in the energy. I can bring it in my whole life um, to, to work with energy, to, to be calm and relaxed and in, in this Brenner state. I came uh, with an extensive combat history. What I found uh, inadvert inadvertently, and it's kind of unavoidable with Prana Dynamics, um, is a spiritual aspect to it. Um, because it's all about releasing your mind into space and becoming at peace with yourself and helping your partner um, become at peace. It affects the partner's body in such a dramatic way. It can also be healing. Because what you're really doing to move the person is you're taking their tension and you're releasing their tension to move them. <laughs> so you're actually, it's like an internal massage. Tension is just stored energy. It's unusable when it's stored. If you can release the tension, it becomes usable energy. And that usable energy alleviates pain, stress, um, alleviates the person's mind. That mechanism of releasing the tension is actually um, the energetic flow. And, and then it becomes stronger and stronger. You become like more open, more uh, free of blockages and, and this thing starts to work.
That's why when you see people flying across the room, they're smiling and laughing because the stress, there's some stress being relieved from their, from their body. So that's what the really intriguing part to me. Sending the energy and moving the other person in order to do that, I have to let go of all the tension in my body and be tension free or it won't work. I have to let go of all the stress from work, all the, the stress from the family responsibilities, all the stress from whatever else is going on in my life, whether it be health issues for that time that we're practicing that hour, I have to let go of all that. So it's a, it's a break from all the stressors in the world. Before Howard's course, like everything is uh, a function of your mind and your force. But then you realize that you don't have to use your thinking. You don't always have to use your, uh, your force. You can, can work with, uh, with your heart without using any force at all. And this is magic. I try sometimes to push uh, or to try from the mind. But if I am in the mind, uh, it's like always there is something uh, between us like uh, rivality or oppression or, or combat. But if I am in my heart and I connect to the person, I, I move easily just uh, from the modulation of the tension in my fascia and uh, I open the space and I follow the, my intent. So, uh, so it's easy to, to move uh, somebody with connections. When we train, we are, we are together, in fact, we are um, feeling, we feel the, the energies. Yes, we feel uh, to be united. The practice itself is kind of first relax until there's no stiffness in the way, neither mental, no blockage mentally nor physically. And from there, um, things start to happen. So uh, it's hard work, in a, not in a physical way, but you have to concentrate a lot and still while concentrate, relax and change your, you have to change the way you, you think or you feel. I just release you now into his tension. My mental energy bridged over into his fascia and travel and then he will respond. Okay, there you go, there you go. Okay, <clears throat> understand? First thing I have to do, I think, to, to, to relax and give up every resistance to the force I get from my partner. It's quite a miracle if you, the, the better you do that, the less this force influences you. I try to get rid of using single muscles or single, single limbs also, but try to get more uh, in a flow of, of energy. And so uh, out of a sudden, if it works, my partner starts to move. It's great joy to experience this. It's pure energy. There is no movement, in fact. It's a, only a, a transfer of energy. So if you feel you can exert power, you, you could affect the other one, but it's not the way it, it's done in prana dynamic. Uh, it's more about the connection. And if I feel the connection, I can uh, play with uh, this situation, this energy. Uh, it's more freedom inside. And uh, it's amazing that it's effortless. Um, yeah, so it's, it's difficult to explain. I would uh, say better it's uh, to try. It was really, 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 it is really nice. Wherever there is touching, I can modulate the tension inside of my body and make myself comfortable by releasing that which makes me uncomfortable to him. Okay? And um, this is when and where the magic happens. Okay? Relax. Inflate, deflate. Touch any part of my body. So he's touching here. So connect to the ground, up to him. There you go. Okay? Touch. He's touching here. There you go. To know is one thing, to be able to do is another. So the essence of the practice is to validate, you know, the imparted knowledge inside of your mind body so that you can bridge over the gap in between knowing and being able to do. The partner work helps to validate that we are on the right path and that you are progressing with your training and that you understand the practice of prana dynamics. It's a good experience to touch different 
uh, people. I could observe that uh, for some, uh, for any person, works something different. It was very important that there was some practical use for this energy work. The real benefits are in my professional life because everything is easy. I have many problems, but I'm the person who everybody can rely on to find the solution. It's a, a bit uh, magic. Uh, my life ch changed a lot. Uh, more inside, not, not externally. I changed the mindset, like uh, I started from the heart. And it was a big change for me because uh, I realized that I'm already in the uh, harmony and I start to be more equilibrium uh, in my life and uh, my emotions and uh, my thoughts were a little bit less uh, intensive. I found some uh, peace in my heart. At work, at home, with my family or when I take a walk with my dog, the whole time in this prana state and this is so beautiful and so um, sensitivity to me. The biggest takeaway from the Prana Dynamics master program for me would be letting go. It's really one of the most difficult things to relax. Um, it sounds like the easiest thing in the world and indeed it is simple, uh, but it's really not easy at all. Also in daily life it's good to, to be relaxed and um, maybe not to fight, not to follow too much the ego and, and things will go better, maybe um, the atmosphere is, is better and work with other people, it's uh, much nicer. His kind and heartful company on this path deeply changed my life from the inside to the outside far more than I could put into words. It was not only my mind, not only my heart, I felt really that my body began to change. It was like, like you're taking your first, first breath. Something in my, in my chest opened and that something began to flow. Basically all art forms are the product of uh, prana in dynamics. Martial arts is just one of the possible ways of external manifestation of this internal freedom. So it is the internal freedom that matters. Martial artist, healer, philosopher. If you're any, if you're any three of those, <laughs> which I think that covers the world. Because <laughs> I think everyone is into some kind of healing, meditation, yoga what it may be um, people from a martial background of course there's a lot of martial artists out there uh, philosophy um, he's a great philosopher um, you know so any of those three uh, I think really resonate with with Howard I really like like to train and it's it's really uh, nice to have so many possibilities to train with different people and it uh, don't matter if it's men or women, it's, it's nice. Because you can discover yourself with this and you can discover others and maybe also more. So not, not only yourself, but um, yeah, it changes things and maybe you can see things different. I enjoy the company of my people, you know, because we uh, resonate with our life energy together as a family. It's a real loving and uh, it's a friendship, love, brotherhood, sisterhood. Everyone welcomes you with open arms and they welcome me with open arms. And um, this is how I welcome everyone else also. Old people are, are very nice, warm. Uh, they hug together, which is, which is very, very nice. I'm very proud of the quality of mind of my people, you know and a very sincere, honest and open individual and a very enjoyable souls, you know, to mingle with. And uh, we share our own common passions to life and we help each other to evolve together. So that is, uh, that is uh, the main factor that pushes me keeping forward.
I only met nice people. <laughs> There is no competition. We all share uh, our knowledge. Every people can uh, progress at, at this reason. In this community, in this family, there's only love. We, um, the people supporting each other. And this is really, really great. I would like to invite you uh, to master program. I will encourage to try and to take part because it's beautiful. I recommend everybody to work with a word, yes, yes, with no hesitation. Prime Dynamics is for anyone looking for healing, the healing aspect, anyone looking for the martial aspect. But far more than that, people who are interested in spirituality and who are interested to discover the true nature of their own being. Your perspective to life will become different. Because the master program shows on a step-by-step -step basis the way into oneness with the energy body and how to use this internal freedom with um, in everyday life. It's not about benefit, uh, it's about the uh, invocation of this internal transformation. You know, so do you not be the victim to your mind no more as an individual, bumping, striving, and suffering each and every experiences in life as an individual? To deal with your stress, I think you, you just, just become more relaxed, more open, more happy. Came to Prana. <laughs>